good day friends it is me hl mod tech and today my friends we are going to make a sweet project in my dot sketchup so let's get cracking i will put a link in the description but you can also just type my sketchup and you'll get this link right here when you click it the first time you'll see this tremble sign in i choose sign in with google and just use my school account or you could use your own personal gmail account if you're at home my friends, we're going to build an awesome turtle, and I want you to do it by clicking Create New, and we need simple template millimeters. When it launches, this lady is showing us how big the world is. We don't need her. We're going to hit Delete and Erase her. Immediately click on the Save, and I want you to name it Turtle, and I want you to put your initials after it. Notice you have to go down to the bottom to get there, and then click Save, and it'll be stored in your Trimble folder. SketchUp is a click and release program, so right now I want you to click the menu and let go, and then move and choose the circle choice. We're going to click the origin, which is where these three axes meet, move the mouse out on the green axis, and then type the number 40 and press enter. You'll notice that showed up in the bottom right hand corner, and we have a tiny circle. We're going to zoom to that circle by clicking the orbit tool and switching to the zoom extents. So it zooms in and then we're going to roll the scroll wheel back, make sure we're on orbit. And if you drag, we can look at it from above. See these edges? Those are called endpoints. We're going to go back to our circle tool, go up to the end point that's on the green axis, click and let go, and then move to the very next end point. Not mid, but end point. Click and it makes a perfect circle. Move to the red axis click and let go, go to the next endpoint, do it again. From the bottom, notice it was right across from that, same thing, click the green axis and go out to the side, and then on this side, find the red axis and click it as well. Those are the awesome legs of our turtle. Let's quickly add the head as well. Let's go right in between these two feet, notice I found an endpoint, and then move to the next endpoint that's closest to the foot so we lock our head in place. I'm going to roll my scroll wheel back a little bit and I'm going to change my orbit so I can see it from a little bit different angle. Now that we've got our turtle's body, let's erase some parts we don't need. This little tool is the eraser and we can simply get rid of this, 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 and this. If you make a mistake, this is undo, this one is redo. Returning to our tools, I want you to click where the push-pull is, but I want you to switch to offset. Go to the turtle's belly and click that offset, and then I want you to type the number 10 and press enter. That offset is 10 from every endpoint of our shape. With that shape in place, I want you to go to the eraser tool, and we need to remove these lines from our feet. Once again, if you make a mistake, you can just hit undo and then zoom in with your scroll wheel and get rid of these lines inside the head. There are three little lines that you need to get rid of. There's one of those where I need to do the undo and I'm going to zoom in a little closer so I make sure that I put the little circle of the eraser on the part that I really want gone. I'm going to switch back to where the offset was and this time I want the push pull tool. When we click on push pull, I want to click the outside of the body, which is what would hold the sand, and I want to raise that up 15 millimeters and press enter. So now our sandbox has a place for the sand. Let's click on the middle and let's only raise that up five millimeters. So now it's got a raised up section for where the sand will sit. And then let's raise the head up, but instead of typing a number, watch this. I'm going to put the red arrow on one of the endpoints, and it snaps to the exact same size. Switch to your arrow tool and see how this face is gray. If yours shows up like that, simply do reverse faces, right click, reverse faces, right click, reverse faces to get everything back the way it should be for our turtle. That's how easy it is to make our awesome turtle. Let's quickly save our awesome turtle. I'm going to orbit so I can see it from a little bit cooler angle. And then, my friends, we need to go to the materials to paint our awesome turtle. 
When you first launch it, you will be on the plain materials button. We want to hit browse and go to colors. Your colors will probably be collapsed. Open them up, scroll down, find an awesome green. I'm going to paint all of my turtle at once by grabbing him, picking the green I like, and then pop. He is painted in one step. If you want to have different colors, you can unselect it, click the piece you want, and put a different color in each location. So I'm going to make it look a little bit sandy by finding a brown color. There are amazing things called textures. I will collapse my colors real quick, but because we did millimeter, these textures turn out kind of silly. So that is sand, but it's zoomed in so much because we've got a small 3D printable turtle that the texture doesn't appear as it normally would, which is why I'm going to stick with the fun colors. Drop my brown in there and boom, that is sandy. Real quickly, I'm going to hit save because this does not save automatically necessarily. And then let's move over and find a new tool. I want you to find the two point arc. Scroll in on one of your turtle's feet, find a end point, move to the next end point, and then click and pull it in. And let's make a toe. When you've got your toe created, switch back to that push pull tool and raise it up just a couple millimeters. Do that same step again, end point, end point, arc. Switch to your push pull tool. And this time what's neat is instead of guessing the height, you can put that red arrow on the one that is perfect. Real quickly, I'm going to add a third to toe, click, push pull, and I'm going to lift it up as well. You can continue to put toes all the way around, but then of course when you're done, make sure you paint your toes so they look really, really awesome. Let's click on the circle tool and let's give the little dude eyes. Notice it said on face. That doesn't mean like the face of a person. It means the face of the shape. And then I'm going to click on the outside edge of that and I'm going to do move, but I'm going to tap control so it makes a copy. So when I click on this, look, it is moving the exact same size right across. So now I've got two eyes. I'm going to find a blue color and I'm going to paint my awesome little dude with blue eyes. I'm going to take push pull and I'm going to push those down in one millimeter. Notice whatever I did with the first one, I moved to the other one and I can make them so they match. Let's use the arc tool to make an awesome face real quick. Click on the left side, the right side and pull down. Switch to your pencil tool and connect them. Switch to the offset tool, click the center, move it a little bit. I'm not going to tell you a number, you just pick what you think looks cool. Once you've got it done, return to your push pull tool and lift up those cool lips. And of course, find a cool color for that smiley face on your awesome turtle. I'm going to go with red, click the edges switch to orbit, look at it from the other side, and make it the cool red as well. Friends, make sure that you have fun, make it look awesome, hit save, and if you're in my classroom, make sure you get a screenshot you can turn in of your wicked cool turtle. Alrighty friends, hopefully you enjoyed the lesson. If you did, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, leave it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.